Hi, happy planners. It's Kim back from Memories in Time, and today I am back to do something fun. I have decided that I am going to start sharing recipes for my fabulous um, recipe book. Forgot to get this out. I just had ordered this, and I'm super excited. I haven't even taken um, the cover off. I haven't pulled anything out, but I did have some extra recipe pages, and so I have decided that Thursdays now are going to be known as Tasty Thursday, and so today I am creating my first Tasty Thursday recipe and the only stickers I'm using came from the food value sticker pack which I actually picked up at Joann's for um, on clearance for $9.97. Hello! Are we not so excited about that? I'm going to leave it out because I did not pull all of these little lime slices and I may need more. I'm not sure. I did pull I believe all of the key lime pie because I don't know that I'll use it, but I did go ahead and pull them out. I pulled out, this sticker did come from the tiny book and it's called Living the Sweet Life, or it says Living the Sweet Life. This and this came from the food book. It's called Foil, Eat Dessert First and Yummy. And then I did pull, just because I want a little more color, I don't want everything to be green, I pulled this washi that's going to work really well with the peach fleshy tone color here, the rosy pink peaches colors. I did pull this beautiful bright green polka dot. This is a Scotch brand tape, so it's going to be really sticky. And I will be using a picture that printed just from stock images. This is not my picture. This probably came from a recipe on Pinterest. Um, if I were um, guessing, I was hearing a weird noise in there and I was just checking on my kids. Um, so I'm pretty sure this was a stock image. And I'm going to ask for some advice from you planner babes. I love my, my HP sprocket, love it. I have noticed that no matter what I'm printing anymore, it seems to have a really yellow hue. This is extremely yellow hue. To my knowledge, there's not different kinds of photo paper that you can buy, I, I don't know. Um, and I buy these in bulk, um, the HP Zinc sticky back papers. If, if there's something different I need to buy, somebody who's got a lot of experience with the sprocket, please help a planner babe out and drop me a comment down below. Um, you have my email in the description, send me an email. If we're friends um, on Instagram, send me a DM. Somebody just help me out because um, everything is seeming a little yellow lately. I mean, I'm okay with it on the key lime pie, obviously, but I just feel like something's wonky on it. I will be using my green mild liner, um, and I hope what I have in my mind for this works out okay. And I will be writing with my black paper mate medium point tip. And um, I do have a little tip to share with you today. I did not want this washi to be this wide. And so what I did is I just pulled a length off. I put it on my Fiskars trimmer, my scrapbook paper trimmer. And yes, this is the way it goes. I hope you guys can see this. So I laid it down where my blade runs and all I did was cut. And now I have two different sizes of washi. I have a, well, we're gonna have to cut it again to make sure we're good and clear there. I have two different size washies. This is a little wider, and then I have, I created a thin 
washi strip. And it's so much easier than cutting with scissors. And so I'm just gonna leave those there and I will be using them in a little bit. But that's a tip, pro tip. If you want thin washi from a thicker washi, use your paper trimmer. It's super easy. Just line it up and you're good to go. So, um, I have everything ready. And probably what's going to happen here, um, I'm gonna share with you guys what I did. So, um, what you're not gonna, I'm gonna speed through the actual writing on. I'm not going to talk about that part. But I did write the recipe in a very sloppy handwriting and it's just over to the side. So you guys, um, when I get to that point, I'm just going to play some music and speed through that so you don't have to see that. So what I plan on doing first is I'm going to use the, the uh, fine tip as opposed to the chisel tip. And I am going to write, I think that's what I want to do. Let me double check. I may. See, I'm a fat writer, guys. I'm a fat writer, and I just feel, I don't know, I should be able to get key lime with the chisel tip. Um, so here we go. Here we go, peoples, 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 peoples. And you know what I think? I think what I'm going to do, don't judge me for this. I want to give myself a, um, a guide to write. And so I'm going to take one of my little pencils and I'm just going to draw a a line that I can easily erase. So that I can have a guide so that my writing seems somewhat um, somewhat straight and that will erase fairly easily. And so here we go. Good news is I have several of these pages in case I make a boo-boo. So if I think about how many spaces? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So Number six is, would be the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the I would be the middle. So if I want to make sure that this is going to be in the direct center, and what looks like the center to me is right there. Oh, I did this wrong. Key lime pie. And then what I want to do is You know what? I think I'm going to erase my pencil marks before I start with this black ink, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Another pro tip, that black ink is so juicy, I don't want to risk smearing that black ink. I'm glad I thought about that. Okay, so. lime pie and I think 
I want a key lime pie. And so I'm going to look at where this is going to stick. And I want to white out any little, I'm going to try this. And I'm just gonna leave that edge up for a second. And then over here, I think I'm going to use the Yummy. No, maybe eat dessert first. Let's just see how it looks. I'm losing the love for the jelly roll. Just a little FYI, I am losing the love for the jelly roll. And there we go. Just a little washi. Because I feel like I need just a little. crooked. Y'all know I'm trying to be a perfectionist in recovery, but there's only so much of that that actually works for me. Some things I'm okay with. Other things I am not. And so let's trim out this little piece of washi right there. And now, I want to use this washi, and I'm going to put this right in the very center. See, that allowed me to use this washi without using the whole width, the entire thickness of the washi. And so, I think to tie that in down here, what I'm going to do is snip just a piece and what I want to do with this bow tie is I want this bow tie to be 
kind of shorter. And I'm just gonna put this here just to balance out the top and the bottom. Listen to these little toenails. They want to play. Mom is on camera, so they want to play. And so now I'm going to bow tie that little piece. I can hear the TV in the other room and they're talking about the weather. If any of my planter babes are in New Orleans, anywhere around that area, you are in my thoughts and prayers. As the flooding continues and the tropical storm gets ready to come through there, you are in my thoughts and prayers. And so I think I want the picture to be here and down here I'm going to tell that the key lime pie is the official pie of the Kentucky Derby. The official pie of the Kentucky Derby. doing something right here I'm not sure I'm not sure what I'm going to end up doing there but I will end up doing something I think I like this living the sweet life sort of some balance and I do feel like I need I wish these pies were reversed I do feel like I need just one more, maybe. And we may keep this, and we may not. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it, but I may end up changing it. Okay, so now I am ready to start writing in all of my directions, and I'm just going to speed through that part.
Okay, and that, I believe, I almost feel like I need to do something just around the edge. Just around the edge of that, just to make that picture stand out. that makes the photo stand out a little bit more what do you guys think I love how that turned out I'm not real happy with how that turned out down here which of course I didn't have enough room to put in the official pie of the Kentucky Derby but in the state of Kentucky it's referred to as the Derby so I really like that what do you think and what do you think about this series of tasty Thursdays where I share some um, good home cooked Southern recipes. Some recipes that will be um, what Kentucky is famous for, known for. Some just what my family has shared down through time that are just family traditions. So let me get let me know what you guys think about Tasty Thursday. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Be sure and leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Thanks guys and happy planning.